Patella tendonitis is inflammation and pain over the patella tendon. The patella is the largest sesamoid bone in the human body. It is located anterior to the knee joint within the tendon of the quadriceps muscle, providing an attachment point for both the quadriceps tendon and the patella ligament. The quadriceps consists of four individual muscles, the rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and vastus intermedius. The quadriceps muscle have different origins, but converge and insert onto the patella as the common quadriceps tendon. This tendon then envelopes the patella and inserts onto the tibial tuberosity, the portion of the tendon that extends inferior to the patella, the bone, is generally referred to as the patella tendon. Some texts refer to it as the patella ligament. The combined action of the quadriceps can generate powerful knee extension, and this is in part due to uh, the help of the patella tendon, obviously attaching. To the tibia. In addition to its role in knee extension, the patella tendon provides joint stability during landing and deacceleration from running, and it acts as a passive stabilizer of the patella bone. The patella moves along what's called the trochlear groove during knee extension and knee flexion, moving up and down this trochlear groove. The patella tendon origin usually has a crescent shape, with the medial and lateral fascicles attached to the patella more proximally than the central fascicles. At its insertion on the proximal tibia, the patella tendon fans out, mingling distally with the fascia of the iliotibial tract or band. The mechanism of patella tendonitis is obviously an overuse injury. Patella-related injuries are very common, especially in jumping sports such as basketball and volleyball, and sports characterized by rapid acceleration, deacceleration, and change of direction. That is why patella tendonitis is sometimes referred to as jumper's knee. Some risk factors for patella tendinopathy includes poor biomechanics, male sex, more than 20 hours of training per week, previous knee injury, fluoroquinolone use, other medications also that increases the risk of patella tendinopathy include glucocorticoids, aromatase inhibitors, and HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, also known as statins. The clinical presentation of patella tendinopathy is really pain localized to the inferior pole of the patella. The patients often point to this spot. The pain is load-related that increases with the demand on the knee extensors, such as during jumping and hopping. Pain is usually of gradual onset and worse with training. There's something called the warm-up phenomenon also, in which the patella tendon pain may actually decrease during training, but then often the pain is a lot worse after training or the match the following day. Without adequate time to recover, patella tendonitis or tendinopathy can become chronic. Clinical examination often reveals focal pain in the patella tendon that is worse with loading maneuvers like hopping or deacceleration. The single leg decline squat typically causes a lot of pain localized in this region, in early knee flexion. Differential diagnosis for patella tendonitis 
and patella tendinopathy includes patellofemoral pain, also known as runner's knee, knee bursitis, Oshkud-Schlatter disease, which is tibial tuberosity avulsion, sinding larsen johansson disease, which is inferior patella apophysis avulsion, fat pad syndrome, plica syndrome, and quadriceps tendinopathy, which would be more located superiorly to the patella. Investigations. The diagnosis is really based on history and clinical examination. However, investigations that could be ordered include an ultrasound in the region, which could reveal tendon tears, x-ray, as well as MRI if the diagnosis is uncertain. Treatment includes rice, resting, icing the area, possibly compression and elevation early on. Analgesia used include ibuprofen or neurofin. Physiotherapy is important, so exercise and rehabilitation, typically isometric and then dynamic strength exercises, using adjuncts such as wrapping the knee, taping, as well as massaging the area if it's tight and stiff. Injection therapy is also used if the above are not working, and this can include glucocorticoid injection. And some centers also inject the tendon with plasma-rich platelets. Surgery is rarely required. Complications. Complete rupture of the patella tendon rarely occurs, but the risk may be increased with glucocorticoid injections. So in summary, we talked about the anatomy of the quadriceps muscle and patella tendon specifically. We discussed patella tendinopathy, tendinitis, a common disorder in people who jump a lot. We also explored the differential diagnosis of patella tendinopathy and the treatment. Thank you.